Hi, I'm Helen Chavez, Associate Director with the Los Angeles County Office of Emergency Management. What we have in front of us here today is the most important things that should go into your go bag, your emergency kit, in case there's any kind of an emergency or disaster, like the recent earthquakes that we just experienced here in Southern California. We're going to start looking at these items one by one, starting with this one, which is just a generic looking backpack. Really important item to have by your bedside in your car, in your vehicle, when you're commuting to work, and also one wherever your workplace is. In here, you're going to store some pretty important items. For example, over here you have uh, water. Um, that's one of the most important essential items after uh, an earthquake or any type of a disaster, lack of water. You need at least one gallon per person per day for a minimum of at least a week. Over here, there's another group of items basically looking at light and uh, there may be electrical outages. So you want to make sure that you can find your way in the dark. You have here, for example, this is a battery operated uh, a flashlight. It also serves as an AM FM radio. Real critical to stay in the know. After an emergency like an earthquake, you want to know what just happened, what should I do next? So even having an old school type of a radio, this is a crank operated one, is really important so that you get the information um, from authorities and other trusted sources and you know what to do next. Over here are some other um, life-saving items. Of course, you recognize this one, a cell phone. This has life-saving capabilities. This is how you're going to communicate with loved ones and you're going to ask for help by dialing 911 if it's truly a critical life safety issue. Um, the old school way, again, if you're calling for help, you happen to be trapped somewhere, your vocal cords are going to wear out after a while. So having a whistle is a really critical element so that you can go ahead and ask for help. And this is a really important companion item that goes hand in hand with your cell phone, a charger. So this cell phone isn't going to work once the battery runs out and you're going to lose battery power if there is cuts in electricity. So having an extra charger for your cell phone is a really critical item to have in your go bag. Next over here, this is a, an emergency, it's a supply kit. It has different things like bandages, first aid items. This is going to go in your backpack as well. And over here you have some items in case there's damage at home. Um, this is an important one. <laughs> this is a gas safety shut off wrench, but you're only going to use this if you smell gas or you hear or you have a reasonable suspicion to think that there is some sort of a gas leak at home. If you prematurely use this item, then you might uh, suffer an interruption in gas service for quite a while. So use this one with good judgment. And finally, you have some masking tape. This, of course, for any type of triage or injury, you can use that. And um, you know, many times there's debris in your home. Uh, things have fallen, things have crashed down around you, you want to remove some of the debris. So having some safety gloves and also a good helmet and some goggles um, are going to be good items in terms of making sure that uh, you don't hurt yourself and that you are safe in your home afterwards as you're inspecting for damage. I know that this is a lot of information to take in, but thankfully the county has a free resource available to you, the LA County Emergency Survival Guide. Over 100 pages of helpful information for any type of hazard, whether it's an earthquake, flood, or anything else that can impact our quality of life. You can get this by dialing 211, ask for a free copy to be mailed to you, or it's available in 15 different languages also online. You can download a copy by going to lacounty.gov forward slash emergency. Thank you.